PM Modi, how can the sum of all natural numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and so on, equals to minus 1 by 12? It defies logic. Can you explain this mystery? PM Maloney, what you've encountered is no ordinary sum. It's what we proudly call Ramanujan's Infinite Series, a masterpiece from one of India's greatest mathematical minds. To get there, we first subtract a curious series, an alternating one. Let's call that S alpha. So you're saying PM Modi, it's like restructuring a budget by removing volatile elements, a balancing act between gains and losses. Exactly, PM Meloni. So we have S infinity minus S alpha, which gives us 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus dot 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 minus 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus 4 minus 5 plus dot dot dot. Look closely, many terms cancel out in this alternating fashion. The result simplifies elegantly 4 times S infinity. Fascinating. So where do we go from there? Now now come the twist, 3 times S infinity equal minus S alpha. And this is where Ramanujan's genius shines, that S alpha, the alternating series, converges to 1 by 4. But PM Modi, this 1 by 4, how do we justify such a value emerging from chaos? The justification is subtle. S alpha plus S alpha equals sign 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus da da da. This becomes 2 times S alpha. And this PM Meloni is known as Grandi's series, the paradox that challenges our understanding. We derive that sum as 1 by 2. But where does this 1 by 2 come from? Excellent question. Take the minus common on the RHS. That makes the equation SG equal to 1 minus SG and solving it gives SG as 1 by 2. So if SG is 1 by 2, S alpha would be 1 by 4 and finally S infinite is minus 1 by 12. Strange yet elegant and every time we explore such wonders, I feel the brilliance of India's intellectual legacy.